Hi folks, this is update number 4 on the final reveal for the B4 howitzer entry on the Angra build. Let me show you without further ado the end result. Here you have it. I hope you like it. As always, I have spent a great time building it and I've had real fun. I wanted to try making trees for the first time and turn them into co-protagonists of the scene. If you are interested about how I scratch built these birch trees, check update 4 on this build thread. On the sages build, uh, there aren't going to be any trees, but I can't wait to give them another go on and this dead in the tracks group build. I want to try oaks that time. Okay, here on this scene, I think I've accomplished blending them with the landscape, the forest floor vegetation, and the left debris very important to give it the, the right atmosphere. The only problem is that uh, this is a tall diorama. Trees are 38 centimeters tall and they are delicate. So transporting and storing them requires extra care. All in all, I think the diorama looks quite realistic and I'm happy with it. Right, I leave you now with a slideshow of the process and the final reveal. See you chaps, bye bye! I covered the styrofoam base with white clay and placed the howitzer on top of it. Then I marked position and track direction. Layer by layer, it was a long process since it takes 24 hours to dry, I modeled the depressions and prints left by such a heavy beast. Here you have it. I mapped the rod with all these rusty colors. And then I rubbed gunmetal pig. The base was primed with black shadows and great light. And then it was airbrushed with earthy tones. Milkar Barkus' white glue and soil concoction was poured on the surface and I left it dry for one day. Once dry, the figures were glued with super glue. I mixed another concoction to create the first mud effects. The mix is made with fresh mud, earth effects, plaster and real thin soil. There you have it. It's slightly light. Uh, you have to let it dry for the next step. I've added uh, darker streaks with fresh mud and wetness has been enhanced with engine oil and wet effects. At the same time, I peeled some mud crust with an old brush and added graphite effects on protruding elements, tracks, handles, etc. Birch trees have been finally planted for more references. You can watch the previous update. And now we need forest floor vegetation. I've used these autumn products. I've also used this turf as if it were some kind of moss. Both moss and leaves have been glued in place with sand gravel glue using a pipette. And in areas where leaves have been trampled, I've washed them with a thin mixture of wet mud, earth and wet effects. And that's it. <laughs> 